쭉 인터뷰 오늘 오랜만에 야외로 나왔습니다 바람도 선선하게 불고 가을 느낌이 물씬 나는데요 제가 오늘 이곳에 직접 나온 이유는요 바로 이분을 직접 만나 뵙기 위해서 나왔습니다 다가오는 2015 캐리그 챌린지 무대를 새롭게 누비게 될 신생 구단이죠 바로 서울 이랜드 FC의 마틴 레니 감독입니다 안녕하세요 네 반갑습니다 어, 실제로 보니까 너무나 잘생기셨는데요 먼저 궁금한 게 한국어는 좀 배우셨는지 잘 하시는 문장이 있다면 조금 시범 한번 보여주시겠어요? Uh, so far just a little bit 안녕하세요 감사합니다 mm -hmm. uh, uh, Not a lot more than that yet <웃음> <웃음> 정말 기본적인 문장만 잘 구사를 하시는데요 앞으로 한국어 실력이 많이 느실 것 같아요 네, 그러면 본격적으로 제가 질문을 해보도록 하겠습니다 네, 마테네니 감독님을 인터뷰한다고 해서 제가 살짝 뒷조사를 해봤는데요 프로축구 감독을 하기 이전에 소프트웨어 회사에서 근무를 하셨다고 들었습니다. 일단 맞나요? Yeah, that's right. Um, I worked in uh, business for about eight, nine years, and uh, I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot about business. I learned a lot about communication. Background I have in business taught me a lot about building infrastructure and building proper communication channels and making sure that there's proper business processes in place for an organization. And so I have an opportunity to be involved in that. There's also a, a number of executives in the company who are going to do a great job of that. And then I can focus on, on the coaching side of it as well. So mm -hmm. common in the UK that the head coach is called the manager. Mm -hmm. um, in other places, maybe here before it's been the head coach. Mm -hmm. But I think the role of, of head coach is such that um, you do have to be involved in the recruitment. You do have to be involved in building the organization. Mm -hmm. And I'm really looking forward to that. I'm excited about that. And I think that's another part of uh, why this was a really good fit for me. Mm -hmm. 네, 여러 경험과 이렇게 노력을 통해서 프로축구 감독이 되면서 좋은 성적을 내셨는데요. 특히 MLS 최하위 팀인 벤쿠버에서 이제 부임을 하시면서 첫 플레이오프 진출에 성공을 하셨는데 그 성공 요인이 뭔지 좀 궁금합니다. Yeah, I think with that team and with the other teams I've coached, a really key thing has been um, helping their mentality to be strong, helping the players to have confidence, helping them to believe in themselves. And I think we managed to do that in Vancouver because, as you say, we took over a team that was last, that wasn't doing well, and we, we helped them be, think differently, and we helped them play better. They became a little bit more structured, and all the players worked very hard together and created good results. So a lot of the city people took care of me and showed me around and I really fell in love with the city so that was the first thing. Second thing was I met the owners of the, of the Seoul Eland FC and the executives who were going to be running the team and they explained to me their vision and their values and the, the purpose they have for this team and that really resonated with me and, and made me excited and made me want to coach this team. And then also the opportunity to be the first coach, the first manager of this team is a great privilege and, and you don't always get that chance to build from, from scratch all the way up to something like a new team starting in its first game. And so that was a, a great opportunity and I wanted to do it. 네, 이제 얼마 남지 않았는데요. 12월이면은 자유 선발과 드래프트를 통해서 감독님과 함께 호흡을 맞출 신인 선수를 선발하게 될 텐데 신인 선수를 뽑는 가장 주한 점이 있다면 뭐가 있을까요? Well, where I was coaching before in North America, the college draft was very important. There was some excellent players came through the college system, and so I did a lot of work scouting um, those players, getting to know those coaches, and building a network there. And so obviously that's very important here as well. We have an advantage of being able to pick a number of key players from the, the college system. So we need to find players that fit the profile that we're looking for. For every position, we have a, a profile for every player. Um, and then we have to find players who have the right character and the determination to succeed. Because they're young players, they have to have a big vision and a big desire to be successful. And if we find players that are like that, then we'll invest a lot in them and we'll do all we can to make them successful and to make them a big part of our team. 네, 정말 뭐 서울 이랜드 FC는 정말 
팬들을 많이 생각하는 구단이다라는 것을 감독님의 의견을 통해서도 잘 들을 수가 있었는데요. 그렇다면 감독님이 이전에 계시던 MLS와 캐리그의 분위기 또좀 시스템을 비교해 본다면 어떤 차이점이 있나요? Well, I think on the field the teams in both leagues are very strong. I think in the K League there's maybe a little bit even stronger defensive organization and structure. I think in MLS there's a few more players in the final third in the attacking phase that make a little bit more of a difference, but in both leagues the standards very high. Um, in terms of the atmosphere around the games, it's interesting because um, in Major League Soccer almost all the stadiums are full and the noise is very loud and the fans are very engaged in the game. And some stadiums that I've been to in the K League are like that and some stadiums aren't like that. And so I think one of the challenges in, in, this, in the K League is that the stadiums are so big mm. that they're very hard to fill and it's very hard to get the excitement and the atmosphere that we would like. And so the model I've seen work in MLS is slightly smaller stadiums, full stadiums, great atmosphere, and it would be amazing if, if that could happen a little bit more in the K-League because I think the standard on the field is fantastic. <웃음> 네, 그리고 또 서울 이랜드 FC 모토가 아시아 넘버원 인기 구단인 만큼 앞으로 행보가 참 많은 기대가 되는데요. 마지막으로 감독님이 구상하는 서울 이랜드 FC의 모습, 좀 어떤 모습인지 말씀해 주세요. Yeah, I think the dream has a number of stages to it. Mm. You know, I think the, the first part of the dream is to get this team on the field for the first time. That's going to be um, very important and that's going to be a big day for the club. Um, I think the second thing is to get our fans really engaged and behind and supporting the group and the team. Um, and that will be a major part of what we do. Mm. And then it's about winning on the field and building together the, the expectation and the, the experience with the fans, at the same time building the team on the field so that as the team improves, the more fans come, more people get involved, more people get excited. And so if we can market our team properly and then do things properly on the field, I believe we can have great success. Um, you know, we're just starting. We're only a new team, um, but we have high expectations. And uh, we believe that we can build a very strong team that can compete with all the teams in the K-League Classic, which is where we have to get to. Um, and we believe that we'll have many fans who'll be excited about the way that we play. And I think they'll also be excited about how we treat them. Um, our, our club is very much focused on delivering something special for our fans, maybe marketing a little bit differently, maybe giving a little bit more back to the fans. And then hopefully on the field we can put together a product that's exciting and dynamic, that the players like playing and that the fans enjoy watching, that's entertaining, that attacks teams and, and also comes up with good results. And I think if you can do that, if you can play football in a positive way, then the fans uh, enjoy that and they want to watch that. And so I, I hope that we'll be able to do that. 네, 오늘 말씀 감사합니다. 앞으로 다가오는 2015 K리그 챌린지 무대를 새롭게 누비게 될 서울 이랜드 FC의 도전과 도약을 황금 축구와도 응원하도록 하겠습니다. 그러면 오늘 인터뷰 마치면서 구호로 깔끔하게 마무리하도록 하겠습니다. 먼저 감독님께서 서울 이랜드 FC를 외쳐주시면 같이 파이팅 하고 마치도록 할게요. 서울 이랜드 FC 파이팅! 파이팅!